Hey everybody, how's it going? So, just want to give you guys a quick update about what I've been up to, what I'm doing, and some of the uh, products I have that I brought back from Peru with me. Um, first thing I want to say is that I have a lecture in Asheville November 12th at the Apalachia School of Holistic Herbalism. Uh, that's November 12th at 6 p.m. Please come out. The lecture is completely free, um, and I will have products for sale. So some of the products I want to show you guys, um, I have here around my neck, one of the Master Weaver scarves from a remote region north of the Sacred Valley of the Incas, the Mapacho River Valley. Um, these are all handmade, all natural dyes. Um, the people in the villages there hardly speak any Spanish. Some of the men speak Spanish, but most of the women, the, the Master Weaver women speak only Quechua. They don't speak any Spanish whatsoever. So they speak a pre-Columbian language, in the 21st century, which is pretty cool. Um, yeah, but they make these products. Um, they were purchased with fair trade prices. The uh, the people get a certain percent of the final sale price, and everything is open and, and disclosed to them. And they've agreed that I could purchase and, and resell the products. Um, so all the items are fair trade. Uh, we try to give the the best prices we possibly can to both the consumer and of course the weavers who deserve money for their beautiful beautiful work on these textiles they're all natural dyes and uh, the patterns represent various things and, I, and I'll go into that during my lecture so please come out for that um, some of the other things I'm going to show you guys this is not for sale this is mine you can't have this this is a stone head from Chavende Wantar um, Chavende Wantar is a a ruin in central Peru near Huaraz. Uh, goes back to about 1500 BC. It's very, very old. It was a ceremonial site where they would use various uh, sacred plant medicines like Wachuma or San Pedro, um, the hallucinogenic cactus of the Andes. So I just want to show you that to you guys because it's interesting. This is quite a big, heavy one. Um, it was quite hard to get back from Peru. Some of the other things I have, let's see, I thought, yeah, I have this. This one is for sale. Um, Saren, if you're watching, this one is now up for sale. So this is a Cabeza Clava, one of the stone heads replicas, obviously, from Javin, but it is it is real stone, it is real carved stone. Um, quickly, I'll show you guys a couple more of the, the Master Weaver pieces. The Master Weaver pieces are quite expensive um, because so much work goes into them and they're natural dyes. They're all 100% baby alpaca. This is actually a a double bag or a triple bag I should say they don't sew on these pockets they weave this pocket on the loom which is a an almost completely lost technique um, the people in this area all they know um, they're the only ones that still know how to how to make these these extra pockets on the loom so they don't sew the pocket on they weave it on the actual loom when they're making the bag which is very unique and interesting um, so again, the, the Master Weaver pieces are quite expensive. This particular piece is $125 here. Um, I do do discounts when people buy more than one thing, or you know we can we can bargain a little bit. But the the list the price it has listed is $125. So some of the other things I have though are not as expensive. These are still really really nice, and um, I wouldn't call these Master Weaver quality, but they are handmade. They are alpaca. Um, and I believe this one is made with all natural dyes as well, and this is only $40. Whereas this Master Weaver scarf is $90 to $100, or $80 to $100. Um, yeah, but here's another, excuse me, here's another scarf I have. This is one of the one of the cheaper ones as well, $35, $40 price range. Um, and a couple other things for the ladies, maybe for mom or girlfriend for Christmas. These, uh, these nice little bags, just little... Little carrying cases. Um, these are running 20 bucks, so these are not too bad. This is all hand. The stitching is all hand done, um, but I do not believe that the colors are are organic. I believe they are um, synthetic colors. Although I'm not sure, they can get some really amazing colors. This is just a purse. It has a strap. I won't take the strap out, but it's just a uh, a floral purse. So yeah, we got lots of stuff like that. Another floral purse with butterflies here. Um, yeah, 
So I have a lot of products. This time I brought back a ton of stuff. Um, you guys can check out more stuff at my website, www.ethnoco.com. That's E-T-H-N-O-C-O.com. Um, and I have lots more stuff on there. Some of the uh, jungle products I have, like from the Machinga people in Manu, this is a snake vertebrae with seeds. These are not painted beads. These are seeds. Um, one of them is called Wairuro, and it's for good luck, the red and black one. And I'm not actually sure what the other one is, the green one. I'm not too sure about, but very pretty necklaces. This one has a, a snake vertebrae. I think it's a anaconda or a boa vertebrae. It's a quite a, a vertebrae of quite a large snake. Here's another one. This has the tooth of a, uh, a peccary. A peccary is a wild boar that the Machinga hunt and eat. And this is one of the tooths of the peccary. It's not a jaguar tooth. It is a peccary tooth. What else do we have here? Ah, we have some stone pipes, some interesting stone pipes. We have the owl pipe. These are all stone, carved stone pipes. Um, we have the snake or jaguar, I believe. Jaguar, no, I'm not sure what that is. <laughs> you guys tell me what do you think. I think it's a snake, but not sure. But yeah, we got these stone pipes. There's the coca leaf pipe, which I think is really cool. So yeah, stone pipes. Um, some of the other interesting things I have, well, I have this, this is actually a pipe from the jungle. This is a seed. This white stuff you see <coughs> is a seed. It has a black covering, and they just carved it to make a pattern and expose the white underneath. The stem is made from chanta, which is one of the hardest woods found in the world or in the Amazon. Um, but they call the seed like the ivory of the forest or plant ivory because it's just brilliant white smooth uh, substance so yeah jungle pipes as well got a little tumi here this is a Inca uh, basically an Inca knife this is a Yama tumi so they would they would sharpen this part and use it for all sorts of things for surgeries or even just everyday everyday use um, got a bracelet here this is a Andean textile bracelet I think these are like five bucks six bucks they're they're cheap um, the last thing I'll show you guys, well, we got one more bracelet here. This is a jungle bracelet they, uh, made of seeds, small wairuros, the baby wairuro. Um, we have the snuff pipes. This is for doing rapé, for doing uh, tobacco snuff. And here in a second, you guys can watch me do some rapé. Now, keep in mind, this is rapé. It's not any other funny stuff. This is tobacco. So I'm going to snort it up my nose, which looks kind of weird, but it is tobacco, not anything else. So don't be concerned that I'm on drugs or anything. This is the uh, the patutu, the conch shell, which they would use in ancient times to uh, signal each other, alert people that they're coming. I'll blow it one more time for you guys. <laughs> so yeah, that's the patutu. And now let's... Uh, Let's do a little bit of snuff. I did have one more snuff tube to show you guys. Let's see. This one's the uh, this one's the self applicator. So this one you'd actually take and blow it up your own nose. This one is for blowing up someone else's nose. And the final one I have, which I'm about to use now, I've been doing some snuff recently and kind of enjoying it. I don't uh, like to smoke cigarettes, um, but the snuff is nice and mild. This is a, it's a double tube. It hits you in both nostrils. The face is of a jaguar. I don't know if you guys can see that. Face is of a jaguar. And uh, you just take a, a little sniff of tobacco. This is the rapé, the tobacco. Um, it's spelled like rape, but with the little accent sign. But I don't have an accent sign on my computer, so I spell it R-A-P-E-I. Um, so it doesn't look like I'm writing rape, because that's not nice. Um, so yeah, we'll do a little bit of snuff here, and you guys can watch me do that. So this is just tobacco and yipta. Yipta is a substance um, that's used to chew coca leaf with. Um, it's a substance that basically changes the pH of whatever you're using it in and it makes the chemicals such as nicotine or the chemicals in the coca leaf more readily absorbable so that's all it is it's just it's just uh i don't know if you guys can see that it's just uh tobacco and some yipta so this is tobacco snuff rapé here we go
<laughs> so, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing the prod, uh, the products. Please check out the website, www.ethnoco.com. Um, we are still working on getting up some more products on the website, so there are more products coming. If you see something I have here, such as the snuff tubes, uh, and you don't see it on the website, it'll be on the website soon. But if you want, you can contact me directly. And uh, you can contact me on Facebook at Scott Light, L-I-T-E, or you can email me at ethnobotanicalco at gmail.com. Um, please don't forget, we have a lecture on November 12th at the Appalachia School of Holistic Herbalism in Asheville. The lecture is at 6 p.m., and I hope to see you guys out there. We're going to have a great time. We're going to eat some hot peppers. We're going to blow some tobacco up people's noses. We're going to talk about the wonderful, wonderful world of ethnobotany and anthropology in the Peruvian Amazon and Andes. So thank you guys. Have a good night.